how to use your new Apple ID on your App Store. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Bimu from GenieGuide and in today's guide video, I will show you the way on how you can actually use the new Apple ID on your App Store. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, then make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So first and first, you might have created a new Apple ID, but then you go to App Store, you try to download an app, it simply doesn't get download. It gives you something along the lines such as review your Apple ID or this isn't the Apple ID used in the iTunes store, it might ask you to review. So in my case, if I show you, I have created a brand new Apple ID in this case. Now I might want to actually set up this on my app store and you can see as i open app store i will tap on the continue button right over here and i will also allow the location permissions and so on you'll be able to see a list of all these options over here and what i will do is tap on the note now and right over here let's say i want to download some kind of applications and so on so i'll go ahead and try to show you if i download this youtube let's say for example i will tap on the get button basically first of all it will ask me to enter my apple id password so i will go ahead and do that once you enter the password for your Apple ID, I will also tap on the sign in button which you see. As soon as you tap on the sign in button, you can see it says verified. But the problem over here is that the application will most likely not get downloaded because you can see it says this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store. So in that case, what we have to do is we have to review our Apple ID. So tap on this review button which you see. As soon as you tap on the review button, you'll be able to see a list of all these options. It will ask you to enter your country's details and everything and so on. So I will also go ahead and then simply do that you can choose your country agree to terms and conditions tap on the next button on the very top right hand corner over here you have to simply enter all of your details your payment method your billing names your billing addresses for example i will simply select this street let's say for example once you enter the street name you could also go ahead and then enter another street i will enter the city which is actually required once you enter the city name as well go ahead and then enter your country's code right over here after that it will ask you to use your postcode so go ahead and enter the postcode or the zip code for your area and once done it will ask you to finally enter a phone number so go ahead and then simply enter your phone number as well once you've done all of the steps tap on the done button basically and fill in all of the details tap on the next button on the top right hand corner of the screen once you've done that you'll be able to see all of these options so as you can see it says apple id completed now we could go ahead and try to download an app so i will tap on the get button and it will ask me to enter my apple id password and then what you could do is simply tap on the sign in button after you enter your password and then you tap on the sign in button, you can see finally it will get started to download the YouTube application or any of the other apps. You can also choose require after 15 minutes and so on. And this is how you can actually set up your new Apple ID and use it on your app store in order to download apps. We hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply also make sure to leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video.